Just right. right now, one of the things that I'm looking at is the Jack Dorsey and Jay Z. Jack Dorsey, that's oh, and welcome to the morning huddle. You won't find entertainment like this anywhere else. What's up? Welcome back to the morning huddle. Let's get into some hot new entertainment. Um, so we're talking about film, music, books, art. I'm going to start with the category of film. I'm actually here, Mr. Conversations here. We're winding down the week, but I, I wanted to get this episode in recorded so we have time to edit it and make it beautiful. So let's talk about music first. I'm going to get some ideas from him. He's going to help me out. Um, music. Okay. What's new in music? music? What are you listening to? Um, For me, I know that Julian Baker... Um, she's a great musician. She launched a new album. I'll have the link in the description page. Remember, the links are always in the description page. Um, I'm very excited by her new album because she's continuing to grow. She's like an indie musician. It's very, very slow indie stuff. Comp, what are you listening to? Anything new? Um, not anything new, but okay. in the, in the, as far as music and, and news yeah. right now, one of the things that I'm looking at is the Jack Dorsey and Jay Z. Jack Dorsey, that's that's a that's a music worthy thing. Checking out, it's not that's news. It's technically not entertainment. It's kind of entertainment news. Yeah, yeah. Jack Dorsey is buying the guy who ran owns Twitter and started Twitter, run, runs and Twitter Square. and Square. I didn't really know that that deep on the Square. Square is awesome. I love it. Um, it's a it's a POS and it's a POS for for businesses. And um, so he made bids to buy Jay Z's title. Title is a streaming service, so a part part of it. Not all of it. He wants to buy into it, right? Yeah. And majority of, ownership or? Majority ownership. Major, majority ownership? Yeah. You're going to do that, Jay-Z? I'm just joking. If I was you, and, I'd probably do it too. And Pivot. The fact that he still wants Jay-Z evolved. Yeah. And dope, but this article Start a sushi also, restaurant in Japan. Uh, this article also brought up the NFTs, which is... The, the NFTs. Movie. Okay. We're going to... Close down the Buscini music section. We're going to go into the art, the American art section. Um, new things that are going on in art. I'm going to have a link. So we talked about the two things for music, those links. Get all these links on the Go Live with Kinyo page and uh, new episodes, new little things, new news on, on this show, The Morning Huddle, which is part of Kinyo Poetry Live. Get that at the Saved Over Success Network where this is live. Um, so let's keep going. We're talking about art. And in the art world... This is this new thing going on with NFTs. Um, some people would say this is the Bitcoin world. Um, but Bitcoin is basically combining with the art world on some stuff. And people are getting very excited. And the reason why this is somewhat exciting um, in, in just in basic levels so that people understand the excitement. Because this isn't necessarily going to improve or reduce the quality of art. But it's more of a uh, financial. There's going to be lots of money bank. Um, from this and it's going to change the way that money is made which is why people are really interested in it I'm going to be honest with you in the short term and it's going to allow for for people to dabble in making di different types of money I, I think some people are overestimating that and underestimating that. Like, you know, like some people think oh anyone can be an artist now now see the hard thing about being an artist is not making art and selling art that's actually pretty easy to do the hard part about being an artist is creating a career out of it to where you feel like you're an artist. And that's a lot more business than anything else. And then if people don't like the business, then they're like, I'd rather just not run this business. And then it makes the, them, it makes the whole thing a little weird. So do I think this is going to dramatically change who decides to be an artist, the types of people who become artists? Not really. But it is very cool. NFTs are going to be a very cool way for artists to make money. Um, a lot more money. I think it's going to be interesting how that shifts the power into the hands of the artists. And, you know, this also brings up a New York Times article. Um, anime is booming, so why are animators living uh, in poverty? The workers mm -hmm. who make Japanese shows, the world is finished watching, can earn as little as $200 anime. a month. Anime people living in poverty, and they're saying why are they living in poverty? Because they're dumb. I'm gonna tell you that right now. 
these guys and we're switching over to the one film section that was the whole thing under art and the only other thing I want to say under the American art section maybe I feel like just bringing up some local artists randomly um, check out San Antonio artists that's all I'm gonna say on that um, check, te- check out oh yes this is well that's in the Laddington book section all right let's just keep going then art check out Kwanzaa but I'm gonna talk about her again in a quick second now we're going back into the film and we talked about what was it the, the thing anime. you just said the anime so the one film section the anime people they're not making money and I said that they were dumb and I just did that for shock value but obviously it's more just about you know People not having lots of different ways to monetize their content. Now, I think the only reason why people are so loyal to the structures that do not pay them any money, because like, why are you doing work that you're not getting paid for, is because they believe in the culture. The culture has a really strong tie. That's why a lot of skateboarders don't make money. It's because they actually believe that the only way that they can make money is from skateboard sales. And that's just a weird way of thinking, because... It's just not very profitable. And so could these people diversify? Yes, but will their culture allow them to or will they allow themselves to rebel against their culture and change the way that anime is going to be made? Of course, it's going to happen. There's going to be an anime revolution. So this is going to be really interesting to see how that goes down because someone's going to make a platform where these guys can monetize and they can reinforce themselves, reinforce each other. Um, Crunchyroll might do it. And I really think that people of color... Uh, black creators, I think that the more we, because I was talking about this before, which mm-hmm. is how can we make something here in the States that is a weekly anticipation like that yeah. and have that particular culture here, because the thing is that it is getting to a point where it's, it's super popular, but are the artists making any money from the merchandise? You know, so what is an artist? Yeah, you know, there we go. You do? But on the film section, another thing is okay, that we're gonna, the Superman we're, reboot with a potential Man of Steel is on the Oh, list. they're, they're doing Steel maybe, Steel. so we got, to, I think I might, no, no, I was going to talk about I wanted to talk about that, so I appreciate that, because uh, you had mentioned it to me earlier in the week, and I, I wanted to write it down. Um... The uh, Taneshi Coates and J.J. Abrams, if you don't know who J.J. Abrams is, come on, Google J.J. Abrams. But um, Taneshi Coates and J.J. Abrams are going to do a uh, maybe. There, There's talks, rumors of a Superman with a black Superman, you know. My only thing is, if this was really going down, how come I haven't got an email yet? <laughs> Anyway, but uh, so that's in the works. People are talking about it. <laughs> and uh, that'll be interesting. It'd be interesting to see if um, they did it. It'd, it'd be fun to watch. Sure. I am down for special effects. Anytime there's a healthy special effects budget, I'm super down. And, you know, I don't know if there's been... What's been the greatest, best execution of, of, of special effects on a person of color and I don't really count Black Panther what? because but they just put him in like a suit and then now we can't see and they can do any kind of CG stuff but to me I'm talking the like technology that they have with it I yeah. mean, the suit was one aspect but also the technology that they okay. Had okay so Black Panther's yeah. number one what's number two then so other than that so what was the question the best application of Okay. Special effects on a on a person black, um, we, per, we no black person of color that would make it a little confusing. I kind of think I just mean black because yeah. so many great Asian Chinese. Films. I mean, when when I really think about it, as far as like, Indian uh, films, we we haven't gotten the budget team. like that. Honestly, the only yeah. other thing that I can think about is maybe something Will Smith related. I was trying to think maybe maybe um yeah Men in Black. Men in Black, and then they did kind of put a lot of work into, um, I mean, Independence Day, but I don't know, but into um, Wild Wild West in some kind of mm-hmm. interesting ways. Yeah. If he had done The Matrix, he would, then we could have said that, but he yeah. didn't do it. So <laughs> anyway, so yeah, they, I mean, just on that front, um, either way, special effects, I'm always down for it, so should be a good one. So that rounds that up. Let's go into the Laddington book section. All right, we're talking about the only thing I'm talking about this week, other than my own books, which you can buy by hitting me up. Um, you can also, oh, the mix book is coming out soon. I'll drop links to both of those things. That's cool. Why not? 
Remember, go to the Go Live with Kenyo Project Four TV page. Also, little little sponsor section right here. Uh, the Composition Wellness Solutions is um, creating CBD, and I want to be serious when I talk to you guys about this because CBD is changing lives. How is it changing lives? You're gonna have to Google that yourself because I don't want to make any unsubstantiated medical claims um, here on air, but. It, it's it's a real thing. I said I wanted to be serious, but now I'm laughing. But anyway, go ahead and head over to www.daptrol.com um, and you can check out uh, the Composition Wellness Solutions in the shop and order yourself some CBD. And that's also a segue to our second sponsor, myself and my company, Rest. Uh, and I do delivery. And one of the things we do locally here in San Antonio is we do delivery and we deliver the CBD, um, but we also deliver boba. We also deliver groceries. We also um, deliver anything that can be delivered while it can be delivered. So if you'd like to check out that, go over to rest.projectforward.tv and you can learn more about the delivery um, or simply text 949-297-6068. Um, text delivery to that number and you know what? You'll get a $5 credit, $5 credit towards delivery. All right, let's get back into um, the, 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 the last s section here, which was the Laddington books section. And um, there's only one thing that I want to talk about in that section. Oh, no, I've already said the other two things that I'm going to be um, mentioning. I put links to those, the mixed book and um, my books. Um, but... Um, Taz, a local uh, philanthropist, artist, um, uh, art historian. Actually, I think that is her most appropriate name. Local, uh, she's not really, I don't know how you can be a local art historian. Taz is a, she, she's an African American uh, art historian, um, artist, author. Um, and she um, has penned a children's book called I Can Create. I'm so excited about this. I haven't been this excited about anything in oh, since Avengers, um, the last Avengers movie. This is the most exciting piece of media to come out since the Avengers um, film that has graphics with it. Speaking of the graphics, who did the graphics? Kwanzaa Edwards, um, also known as Empty Holiday on Instagram. Kwanzaa Edwards is a, a an amazing black um, painter. If you check out her paintings, they're so amazing. So the fact that they collaborated on this thing, I can create. I'm so excited to get my copy. Um, I'm going to have a link to that. That's all I wanted to say um, about that. But I'm so excited. Congratulations to those two awesome, amazing black women. And also shout out to Jania Moore, the CEO of Saved Over Success, another amazing black woman. They try to get me for saying black. They try to get me for saying woman. But I put them together, I said them both. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Um, see, I edit now so I can say crazy stuff because I can edit stuff out. Uh, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching uh, Morning Huddle for your, your, your entertainment news. This is the spot. Make sure you come back for the next one. We're going to be out there that will find you so you can watch this. So you don't have to find us, actually. You know what? Don't find us. We'll find you. <laughs>